Hi, I'm Reggie with Stupid Reasons. In this video, I will show you two ways how to smooth the skin in Final Cut Pro. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first method. We will be using the shape mask. Just click your clip on your timeline and then go to effects and then go to blur and then go to Gaussian blur and drag it to your clip and then go to your video inspector and then go to Gaussian and then click this button right here and then add shape mask. So the outer circle is for the feathering and then the middle circle is for the size. Okay, so the top will be for adjusting the height, the left will be the width, and then any part of the red line will be for the size. Okay, let's select our spot right here, and then let's zoom in so we can see it. Okay, let's make the feathering a little bit smaller, and then let's make it smaller. Let's remove this mole right here. Okay, let's make the feathering a little bit smaller, and then select tracker up here, and then analyze. So go to shape again, let's change size, let's adjust until it fits right here, okay. Go tracker and then hit done. As you can see, the mole is gone. Look at this part, I'm gonna introduce a small amount, just a little bit. Don't go too far or it will look fake like that, okay. The mole is now gone, nice, nice right? For the second method, go to effects, go to blur. And then go to Gaussian and drag it to your clip and go to your video inspector and then select the bottom right here and then add color mask and then select the skin just drag it up until the skin is selected just be sure other parts are not affected okay looks good but it's too much just lower the amount until it looks natural like that 12 is a good number as you can see i'm gonna unselect the Gaussian blur no effect with defect the skin is so smooth now if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button i would really appreciate it you can also tweak it a little bit more just go to type and then select this 3d make it hsl and then select the skin and then select view mask so anything inside the gray area will be untouched so the colored part will be touched okay then tweak hsl tweak it a little bit better just be sure the face is only selected okay looks good then unselect view mask let's make it 12 i'm gonna unselect gaussian so this is before after before after okay looks good now thank you for watching and i hope you learned something today if you want to learn more i've made a video about how to use blade in final cut pro click here to check it out